Hey guys, we're <laughs> back. Me and Tao. Um, but, no, 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 let's do it one more time. So, you guys, do you want to purchase a mango dragon fruit mist? We'll talk about it a little bit more in the video. And yeah, let's, let's <laughs> begin, I guess. Um, so we're going to be seeing each other's skincare routine. We haven't really seen it, but we have it out. So we, we're kind of like glancing at it. Um, we're just going to start like step by step. So I would say cleansing oil first. What do you use to remove your makeup? And then, okay, ready? We'll do like, should we do like a three, two, one? Yes. Yeah, okay, three, two, one. So I have the Tatcha Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil, and I got this from you. <laughs> so I was like, when she gave this to me, I almost started crying. I was like, uh, we love Tatcha here. We love it. Now, I do have a little thing with like fragrance being in skincare, and I don't prefer synthetic fragrances in there. What's your stance on that? I know this is weird. I don't think I've ever asked you that, but I was like, let me just add this on camera. That is so funny. Um, <laughs> yeah. My skin's not overly sensitive, so mm -hmm. I can, I do have some tolerance for some fragrance, mm -hmm. but in cleanser, I don't prefer it. No way. Mm -mm. Okay, so the opposite is usually said about people who are lenient. They're like, let's get some fragrance in the cleansing stuff because it's not on that long. Let's not when it comes to the products that you leave on your skin. That's interesting. <laughs> um, but your skin can handle it. That's the true. Part, right? mm -hmm. Like until it gets to Chanel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh. That's That's that gave me a rash, by the way. So we don't you yeah. won't see Chanel on this channel. No. I don't know. You might see Chanel on your channel. I don't know. No, probably, probably not. <laughs> Oh, well, it's okay. You guys will see Tatcha then. <laughs> yeah. Because we, we stand Tatcha. We do. Um, the One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil has green tea, rice bran, all that kind of stuff. It reminds me of, I used to work for the face shop, you know, I told you that. Oh, yeah. They had a rice cleansing oil and we'd sell out of that all the time. Everybody wanted it because it was like brightening, you know, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like the K-Beauty craze. And so this is J-Beauty. Um, Vicky... Sai is the founder. I hope I didn't forget her last name. But she's the founder of the brand. She's amazing. We think she's a genius. We definitely If you do. watch any of her master classes or anything relatively like relative to her and her brand process and creating her products, it's really dedicated. So um, we love it. This, you know the feeling of this. Oh right? yes, yeah. love it. It's a very nice silky oil that removes everything. It's not drying. It does have a tiny bit of um, fragrance and a little bit of alcohol in there it's all the way at the bottom i don't mind that because it's all the way at the bottom and the fragrance i'm not the biggest fan of i like the smell but i, I think it could do without the fragrance but i find that everybody's so lenient with it in the cleansing step that i'm like okay That's let me true. be a little bit lenient to let me be a little bit nice i feel like i can be lenient when it comes to a solid formula and tatcha's cleansing oil is a winner I used to use Dermalogica, but it just, it cannot compete. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, Tasha, that's, that's our girl. This is in, basically. Mm -hmm. Now, um... Mine yeah. was the Lucky Bamboo Cleanser from uh, Derma Doctor. Ironically, who gave that to you? Ironically <laughs> yeah, enough. We gave uh, each other We our gave each other um, mm -hmm. our cleansers. Mm -hmm. Now this one, the reason why I like this one so much is because it's very hydrating. Mm -hmm. Um... It melts my makeup off instantly. Uh, it breaks it down without me having to rub too hard um, and cause any irritation to the skin. So that's why I really love this one. Um, mm -hmm. It's a milk, an oil to milk. So when you first put it on, you get the oil experience, but then it breaks down once you add water and you get that silky, soft, milky texture that really um, hydrates the skin and um, it's very, enjoyable for me actually i think it's one of those formulas where you can feel it it's an yeah. elegant formula now tatcha is just supreme leader <laughs> it's very luxurious with the derma doctor one that's definitely one of their formulas where i feel like is truly luxurious i would like it as a second cleanse versus a first cleanse just because I feel comfortable using like an oil like this. And then I know that kind of defeats the purpose because you're using <laughs> two oils, but that is an oil to like milk cleanser. Um, yeah, next up. <laughs> okay, ready? Three, two, for cleanser. Three, <laughs> two, what? Okay, so we have yours, which is? The Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. Mm -hmm. so, so I feel like some people would say like that is not a cleanser because it's like an exfoliator. <laughs> yeah. What would you use typically for your cleanser? Um, 
Or are you just using it right now? Because you can use that too. Because well, it is like a rice enzyme. You know how Tatcha has the rice? That's true. You know I, I, mean? I kind of rotate. So You like this as a cleanser. I like this as a okay. cleanser. Mm -hmm. So the, the Lucky Bamboo, I use that for makeup mm -hmm. remover. And this I use to exfoliate my skin. Mm -hmm. I actually like to exfoliate daily. And the thing about this is that it's not harsh. So when mm -hmm. you put it on your hand, you warm it up with the water. It becomes a very nice paste. And then I exfoliate my skin with it. And I like it because it's going to smooth out texture on my face and eliminate the dry patches. But it's not harsh. So I don't feel like my skin is being scratched. Um, and I'm getting just enough, um, just enough, like, cleansing from that this. You're good to go. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree with that one. I just don't like the smell. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you smelled it. It smells kind of like... I've smelled funky. it. I don't mind it. Okay. Because it's very subtle to me. Mm -hmm. It's very subtle. See, but... for me, it's the opposite. I'm like, it smells... <laughs> I don't remember what it smells like. Like, it just has a weird... I can't... Scent. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how to describe it. You don't even pay attention to it, huh? I don't. But with Lucky Bamboo, you can smell, right? It's good. Oh, yeah. It's like a nice, refreshing yeah. orange. Mm -hmm. Um... I have two that I'm rotating off of. It's I actually have three, but I didn't bring the other one because I gave it to my old roommate, so I don't have it anymore. This is the Tula Acne Foam Cleanser. This has mixed reviews. You yeah. know about that, right? Yeah. There's very mixed reviews. It's like three and a half on Ulta or three. Um, people are like, it's super drying. I don't like it. I think it's a really <laughs> solid one. It has a little pump right here, and then I'll let you smell the tea tree. It's really strong. Oh, it is. Yeah, that's strong. Interesting. Right? Yeah, there's a lot of tea tree oil in here. That's interesting. There's BHA mm -hmm. and then there's azelaic acid, so it's gonna help with like redness, clearing out the pores, all that gunk. When you have like acne prone skin like me, and it's like true acne prone skin, um, you get those ones that are under the skin. You got one in your life. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> we were, we were. I actually saw when Ooh. she got like her first like under like the surface like a, like a cystic pimple basically and it's like and we knocked it out we knocked it within out within like five days max that was actually thanks to dermalogica thanks. so that was that was add a little sample of something and um but this one right here i feel like it does the magic i do three pumps or i'll pump it directly onto my face like that and then i'll just massage it in for 30 seconds when i think of cleansers that have like chemical exfoliant i think oh you have to leave it on for your like your skin to actually do something with it you yeah know? That's so true. at least 30 seconds on the skin is what i'll do um it is very drying on some days even with my oily skin so i have to rotate between that and a gentle cleanse I usually wouldn't do this one. This one does the job still, but I would prefer the Peach and Lily Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. Yeah. Which I don't have because I gave it away. <laughs> and this right here is the Indie Lee one. Have you smelled this one before? This no. is the purifying face wash. It has like different type of like, mm. um, what is it? There's like different natural botanical extracts because you know they're all into like all that, yeah. like a plum extract and all this stuff. It smells interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. The other one smells like strawberry. This one smells like, I don't know. It doesn't smell bad. It just smells more like botanical. Yeah. Yeah. And slightly does. like laundry. Do you get hmm. that? The light, a light laundry light scent. Light laundry scent. And it foams up really, really well. This is nowhere, nowhere near as drying as this. This is very drying. But I feel like this is heavy duty. Like you're not playing around with your skin. You're done with the BS basically. Like this is maintenance. It does a really good job. Um, not drying and it just foams up really well. I like this. I feel like this already reached uh, th Their cleansers are good. Yeah, indeed these cleansers are really good. good. Well You guys can <laughs> see that but I dropped the top one and I dropped my life away with that one too. <laughs> it didn't break. But if it did <laughs> Camera would already been off. <laughs> you saved it quick then. I saved Sorry. it. Wait. Um, toner stuff. Three mm -hmm. Two uh, One I have a lot of stuff. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Genius. So, why don't you go first on this one? Because that is my number one go-to right now. It's undeniably my go-to. But I'll explain why I have these thingies right here. <laughs> so, your pick? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So, my pick for um, the toner was actually the 3-in-1 Mango Dragon Fruit. Um, that me and Tao made I mean, y'all yeah, know this that was way. Wait, <laughs> you guys are probably gonna hear um, us talk about this quite a bit, but yeah. we take a lot of pride in the formula and how long it took. Nobody will really understand the the gravity of how much 
effort, time, sleepless nights we put into yeah. making this. And definitely some frustrating points during the process, <laughs> right? Because a lot of things involve with like third parties. And so yeah, to see it is still mind blowing. Um, you know, pH balancing toner, it's an essence, it's a natural makeup setting spray. We both use it today to set everything that we had on. Before and after. Radiant. Um, glassy, basically. Yeah. Um, you can't go wrong. That is mm -hmm. actually my current number one go-to. I didn't bring mine because I'm over at Mel's place, but uh, mine's is a little bit less than this. No, no, it's about <laughs> the same, actually. Um, you have your watermelon extract, you have your BHA. This does everything. It does. It does everything. It really does. I everything. mean, there really isn't any point yeah. to use any other toner. This is a hydrating toner. It is an anti-aging toner. It is a soothing toner. It is a brightening toner. It, like, please read the ingredients. Yeah. Because we're not lying on. Oh this no. At all. No. Like, not we're not trying all. to stretch the claim because we made it. We no. wanted to make something mm -hmm. that was truly universal and truly beneficial to all skin types and all ages That's and so all true. sensitivity types, basically. Like, if you have sensitive skin, you can still use this. That's true. So I'm just beyond in love with it. And me being a normal dry skin type mm -hmm. and then like turning mm -hmm. kind of like combination towards like spring summer i can universally like use this whenever it's and true. um with the willow bark extract and the um centella that's in here that's really good for this skin so i really really enjoy it um as a toner it works it does the job yeah. now if you want something where you can like get a, a you know saturate it in a cloth you can spray this onto a cloth it's kind of weird doing that so if you want to do like a traditional toner there's other toners that we would recommend for that but that's something else i feel like that's very it's very dated yeah yeah you don't do mm -hmm. that anymore like you don't get a cotton pad and remove your cleansing oil and your cleanser should already be removing all that that's true which um and, you know it just depends what you're doing <laughs> that's i true. picked three i picked the tula skincare 10 percent probiotic or pro glycolic um gel i don't think it's gonna zoom in on that one but it is like a very viscous kind of formula like a gel base and it just like it's super, super lightweight. Have you felt this? It's very, very lightweight. There's no fragrance at all. This is one of Tula's mm. few products that are uh, fragrance-free. It's a 10% glycolic with um, like beet and all this kind of stuff, about high in vitamin B5, all that kind of stuff. It feels um, really good. It feels really nice for any skin type. I'd recommend it, especially oily because it's very hydrating, but it's not like to the point where it gets greasy. And I just do like five pumps of it every other night. I feel like just to get like a good chemical exfoliation to add into that i do something else but that'll be the next step i have two of these right here the misha super aqua smooth skin peeling pad aha bha and pha in it mm -hmm. i don't know if you've seen these you never you never seen these i have so these are triple threat they are soft skin like it tells you like dead skin removal um it has the like, i don't know just feel it like really just feel it and smell it too that one's really it has kind of like a... I've seen these before, but I've never um, this is tried like, these ones out. These are very, very gentle, but they have AHA, BHA, and PHA. Um, they're winners. Edward Avila was like showcasing them a long time ago, so I got them. A long time ago. I like and it. They're really good. I've been using them every other night now, um, alongside with the Tula 10% glycolic gel. Now, since we're in quarantine, <laughs> yeah, I am pushing the chemical exfoliant. This yeah. is the time to be doing it because you're not going in the sun. That's true. It's the smartest time. Use Rhinol, whatever you want now. Just use and abuse it, but be cautious, follow directions, you know. Yes. Be smart about it too. Um, Peach and Lily, I love a lot of Peach and Lily stuff. This is the Peach and Lily Lazy Day All in One Moisture Pads. This is a winner. That is a yeah. winner. I That's mean, automatically this a winner. Is just, there's only one left. There's yeah. literally nothing I've left. even tried that myself. It does it's, the job. It just, They're super it's, soaked. Yeah. It's a really good cloth and a good material. Um, I love it. It has ceramides, hyaluronic acid, spinach, broccoli. It's like a protein yeah. shake for, for your the face, skin. basically. Like a daily smoothie. This just does the job. I find that if I'm not cleansing in the morning, because some days I like to just cleanse at night, I use this to get rid of all the excess like dirt and grime. Yeah. And then... It's a toner and um, it's supposed to be like your toner. It's an everything in one product. Then, 
<laughs> I, I feel like that. I feel like this could be a toner and an essence, yeah. not a moisturizer. Yeah. I draw the line at that point because that's a kind of a, like a, a weird claim that's yeah. pushing it. Mm -hmm. Then tell XML Rose Mango Dragon Fruit Mist that is a true three in one because we're not saying it's a moisturizer too. No, you need to put on a moisturizer. Like, yeah. We, we ain't gonna do that for you guys. Like, yeah. You guys gotta do that. Non-negotiable. Makeup setting spray, it's Absolutely. already been confirmed. Come on. Absolutely. Okay, um, that was interesting. Uh, <laughs> um, do we have an oil category? Let's do an oil, let's do oil, essence, and serum all in one. Okay, three, two, and one. Okay, we both have three on this one, so I'm actually really excited. Do you want me to go first or do you want to go first? Um, I'll let you go first. Okay, so my first one is going to be... This is interesting because I really did not want to like this brand. It's, I'm going to be honest. It's The Ordinary. It's their... Um, I don't think the camera will focus today, but lactic acid 10% plus hyaluronic acid. Have you felt this? No, nope, I actually haven't. It's very watery. Um, the formula is literally just like water, guys. It's even, there's more slip than the Tula 10% gel. It's not a gel, it's a liquid. Doesn't really have a scent at all. And it's 10% lactic acid. So the other one was 10% glycolic. Lactic acid is more gentle um, when it comes to exfoliation. And there's hyaluronic acid in there. So this, I'm not gonna lie, this is really good. <laughs> like for the price point, this does Well, I just job. might have to try it. This is worth it. Mm -hmm. This is worth it. And, um, I just think it's a simple, easy, like, I now, it says, like, do a drop, two drops. I'll go in with all this. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll do a second layer, and then I'll mix it with the tulip pro glycolic. But that's because I know how to kind of work with it. I'll actually do these two mixed, and then I'll add in um, this one right here, which is my oil. The Herbivore Lapis Oil. This is my probably my favorite oil. Look, I mean, just look at the color. It's this beautiful. Is, it's beautiful. This is the ocean. <laughs> Come on now, before pollution. This is beautiful. <laughs> um, this is uh, like basically like blue, what do they call it? Uh, azulene. It's yes. German uh, chamomile. Chamomile. Yes. And um, it's super, super soothing. It's just, it's it's amazing. I want you to feel it too. Because this is great. Great, great stuff. And this is just very lightweight. Anybody, any mm. skin type can benefit from this. If you're dry, you probably will like their Phoenix oil a little bit more. For anybody who has a damaged acid mantle or sensitive skin or they just want to like, I don't know, add it into the mix with like a lactic acid, I think it's amazing because you're going to calm down the irritation with this. There's no buffering agent inside of the other one. So it makes sense. Add a buffering agent. Yeah. Or if I do like jade rolling, which I've been doing consistently for like a week and a half now, right. which is pretty good. Like I feel like nobody is consistent with that, but now I'm getting more consistent. This does a good job. It's not the most like... It's not the best oil to be doing with um, jade rolling, but it does the job. And so I love it. The only thing is that it's like $70. We haven't mentioned the <laughs> price. I just realized we haven't been mentioned the price. We haven't mentioned price, price points, But yeah. um, that one's like 70. The rest of the stuff that I've shown is probably anywhere from like 36 to 48. And my last one, the Primera Essence. This is beautiful. This is a fragrance-free formula. Yeah, it's definitely not gonna zoom in, but <laughs> it's Primera Essence. It's, um, what is it? It's like lotus seed, I believe. And yeah, amino acid rich lotus seeds does heavy lifting to smooth texture, improve tone, increase hydration, help fire environmental stressors at the same time. This is amazing. Just feel this. <laughs> I, I love this. I know your hands are gonna be acting nice after this all. Very Beautiful. Nice. But and hydrated. It's very, 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 very watery. And it just begins to drip even quicker than um, I feel like the ordinary product it's just there's not there's no scent to it i feel a difference with this in my skincare routine i feel like my skin looks brighter firmer all that kind of stuff and i know people are gonna be like oh my god like you're like young like how, how do you know your skin's looking more firm mm -hmm. i can tell i can feel it i'm very in tune with my skin i can even feel when there's a pimple that's going to come out the next day like it's crazy but we know I'm, our skin type you know we know sure. it and so key ingredient is lotus seed it does an amazing job. I think this one's like 70 and then you get a stack of compounds. Yeah. So oh. Premier is good. This is their fragrance free product. And I really, really, really like that one. Yeah. For my essence, I use this. Now this is the Subaki uh, Splash Mash from Bosha. But the reason why I use this as an essence is because it is um, kind of a two-in-one in a sense where you can add it to water, splash the face, and it's a non-rinse formula. Mm -hmm. So um, you can 
If I want to use a half pump and directly put it on my hands, I'll just go like this and then pat in the excess. Or if I want to dilute it a little bit because it is a concentrated formula, I can add a little bit to the water, um, add it to my face, splash it on, and just let it set in. But one thing that I really enjoy about it is that it really does the job. I can feel the moisture being retained in my skin, um, the bounce back, and um, softness immediately afterwards. It is yeah. a super concentrated formula. Mm -hmm. It will tell you on the box it and does. on the product. And it tells you like not to, and I, I think it actually says not to use it in your skincare routine, just to use it in the shower or in, because it's too concentrated. Yeah, you have now, to, for you would want to dilute it. There's no chance. <laughs> Oily skin, there's no <laughs> chance. But for anybody who's dry, even maybe normal. Yeah, that normal would work dry. Best, but not oily. There's no, no way. Mm -hmm. We already have. We already have too much issues. No, so, I'm so. actually very, very dry, which is why that does perfectly for me. Because mm -hmm. sometimes, mm -hmm. if I over exfoliate, like because I want to try new cleansers, you like feel like outside of my mm -hmm. routine, then this will bring me back overnight. Oh, so okay, all right. So this would be like Bosha coming up. <laughs> for real, my essence option. Um, um, for, I would say our essence would be. Like the Talax Melrose. Yeah. We don't want to do that step again because mm -hmm. we don't want to like bombard yeah. it. But it has the essence in there. So it's like, you know, for $44, you get your toner, your essence, and your makeup setting spray in one. But I do them together. Exactly. So after, there you go. after there you go. I That's smart. Um, cleanse and everything, I do this and then this A little bit of that after. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that always makes sense because they go hand in hand. I will use the mist no matter what. Even if I use, like yeah. I said, you guys can see how many still have I to. use. <laughs> it's just once you start using it, you don't go back. No. A little bit mm -hmm. of BHA in that formula every other time clears out your pores, keeps your skin looking refreshed and just polished. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is my serum option from First Aid Beauty. This is called the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. Mm -hmm. The reason why I like this one is because it's a hyaluronic acid based serum. So it really just focuses more than anything on hydration and smoothness of skin. I want to show them the texture on that. That's okay. mm -hmm. Of course. I want to show them. What he's it looks he's like. really good at that too because he's definitely showing more textures than I am. I'm just saying. <laughs> this, is, this is my jam. This is this is my jam. I haven't felt this in a while Long because time. I haven't had it, but this is I don't it, skip this. It just feels like what a hyaluronic serum should feel, feel like. like. It does. It, I feel like okay, so you we both tried the Peach and Lily Glass skin serum. Yes. I tried it, I gave it to her because I loved it and you liked it too. Mm -hmm. They're both really good. They're, yes, I they both are really good. They I, they're just both really great. This one's a little bit thicker. And I like that. Yes. And uh, I like that. I like the peach and lily one <laughs> just a bit more because um, it has different, like it has the matacastoside, astiocastoside, like healing agents, like our mist that has the centella inside of it. So that heals the skin, calms down all that irritation. But first aid does call me too. Yes. So it's like they both, they're just, you have to look at the formula because they're about the same price. Yes, they're and about the same price. That's what it comes price. down to. They're very beneficial to the skin, um, no matter which one you do, but yeah i'm excited to talk about the crows as well oh what do you yes think? Mm -hmm. okay we're still going sorry guys the camera <laughs> stops i guess when the battery goes down from one block so we're back yeah we're back. <laughs> and the wild rose oil from Carez. this is my oil option the reason why i like this one so much is because it's a vitamin c br um, active brightening oil so what i enjoy about this is that it hydrates my skin uh, right after my serum, but it's going to. I'm gonna feel it. Right oh, yeah. yeah. I wanna feel it because I'm like, oh, I don't even <laughs> think I. It hydrates my skin right after the serum. Um, because I am normal dry, my skin actually needs a lot of moisture. Um, this is a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yes. So it's, it's a little, a little bit, bit thicker, thicker, but it's not heavy, heavy. No. Mm -hmm. uh, this would be good for like normal to dry. Normal to dry skin. Yeah. This, it actually absorbs. Oh, it smells good. It yeah. smells like light roses. Like roses. Like Melrose. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come like, on. That's the brand. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I like that. That's really nice. Yes. Yeah, so I noticed immediately after oh. I put this on that all That's the nice. products I've layered are marrying each other well. So. Moisture it just creates that. It base. just creates the base. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. So that would be good for jade rolling too. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I would like that yeah. maybe more than the herbivore one because it's slightly slightly thicker. Mm -hmm. But that still has a nice like lightweight feel. Yeah. But you can feel it. Like it's already it's already 
Jaga. It's already in. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. It's the rose oil. And interesting. It has, interesting. I know. Yeah. yeah. No, and I'm it, interested because I'm like, yeah. genuinely, I thought that would be too heavy for me my skin type so but i don't think it is hmm. and it brightens my skin immediately it brightens it hydrates it keeps it soft and supple it does the job it does everything it, i go. want it to do yeah okay um next up is oh i forgot one essence sorry <laughs> i have a fourth one so this one right here is i don't know if it'll ever focus i don't think it will but it's the mamond vitamin essence um, vital vitamin essence bitter orange now I don't know if you guys can see but there's like a little bit of um, I don't think it'll focus <laughs> but like right here there's a bunch of like little um, I don't know they call it like vitamin capsules I think it's like the the extract the natural extract can you, have you built this this is really nice it's like a it, it's just a very viscous lightweight gel um, it sinks in right away it smells good too. Yes, it, it has does. like that bitter orange smell. That's what they're using in the formula. It, That's beautiful. It's just a beautiful formula. I think it's really good. It has niacinamide. It has all these brightening agents. I feel that it is just a really good product. That's lightweight. It's like a, it reminds me of like a hydrating, like gel. You know yes, I mean? it's almost like the uh, first aid one, but much thinner. I think somebody with oily skin would really like this one. Um, I use the moisturizer too. People with dry skin would like that one. It's the same line from Bitter Orange Vital Essence. Um, this does have fragrance in it though, so I won't repurchase it just because I feel like it didn't bother my skin, which is surprising. Fragrance, you know, I'll tell you like if something yes, bothers me. Right the fact that it didn't bother me, I'm like, that's really a plus. But I wanted to try it just to experience the formula because I'll do that all the time. But um, as far as like long term with fragrance, I don't really want to commit to it unless it's like, uh, product, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I won't give it a pass unless it's a product that I'm like, I can't live without. And this product I can live without, but it does a really good job too for the price point. Next thing. <laughs> um, I guess we'll merge the eye serums, eye creams, and yeah, let's do eye creams right now. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, three, two, one. So, you have one, I have three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This one is the Triple Remedy um, Eye Gel from First Aid Beauty. I like this one because it's very hydration, hydrating, but um, it's a nice universal eye cream. So I don't really have a lot of like under eye darkness or it's like me. You don't really or get lines. Dark circles. Yeah. yeah. I just need it dry. For, yes. There you go. Yeah, yeah it uh -huh. just gets dry. Genius. I know. Genius. Genius. We already know. We, <laughs> we already know what's up. We prep. Mm -hmm. We prep. We, we prep. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. Mm, I like this one just because it does the job. Um, first Aid Beauty really too. too it's like just so gel. people know, First Aid Beauty too. They're safe for all skin types, including sensitive. Um, and that product is oil free, but it's hydrating and it's everything that I need in the eye cream Essentially to help with hydration and smoothness um, And natural just like subtle brightening, but I don't have like Dark um, under eyes or like puffiness. So this is essential for someone who just wants um, a universally um, Good eye cream um, for every day. I think I, so I've used that. What yeah. do you think I think of it? It's probably, I don't know, it's not for you necessarily. I don't like, it does a really good job for the moisture and hydration. I don't like the user experience. That sounds weird, but it's not a product that I'm like, oh, this is like, wow, you know? Like it yeah. does the job. If you don't care about like user experience and like luxuriousness, that does the job. That's true. Simple, easy. For me though, like things like with like the Tatcha, the Tatcha cleansing oil, like She's you can winning. feel how <laughs> elegant the formula is and how yeah. much effort they put in. Granted, that could be like the silicones and different components and like the emulsifiers, all that kind of stuff, right? But with that one, I just never feel like, it's like, I feel like you have to love a product. Like we love our mist we created. We love the products that we are mentioning here. A majority of them that we're like, we want to keep using. Like Primera Essence, I have a really good user experience. The Herbivore Lapis Oil, that's $70. I really like, so I keep using it. There's things I really like and I'm like, I don't know, there's products where you use it and you're like, this is yeah, nice, you know? That's very true. Um, and he's just saying like from his perspective on it, mm -hmm. I really enjoy this and mm -hmm. I probably won't ever stop using it. There you go. Um, mm -hmm. 
probably once I get a little older, if I want something to step up the anti-aging aspect, mm -hmm. I might use something heavier or maybe a different eye cream for night. But it does but the job. But it does the job. And it's safe for sensitive and skin. It's safe for sensitive skin. And I do have sensitive skin mm -hmm. and I am normal dry. Um, I'm not breakout prone. So if you just have normal skin, like this is, you could definitely use this. Mm -hmm. I have three, the Tula eye serum right here. I'm not even gonna try to zoom in because <laughs> it's not going to. The Instant Deep Puff Eye Puff Eye Renewal Serum. This has vitamin A, C, E. Mm -hmm. So vitamin A, C, E, you got your little bit of retinol, you got a little bit of vitamin C and vitamin E to be an antioxidant, balance out the formula and all that stuff. Um, you, have you used this? This is like a little like pooling thing. So you push out the product right here and I'll just push it out and then you just push it into the skin. So I'm gonna show you guys right here too. I think it just dispenses right here and then you push it in right there and you just push that formula into the skin. That cream becomes like a kind of like a water. It dries down quickly. It makes a good eye serum and I like the fact that when I'm using it, I can begin to get like a good lymphatic, lymphatic drainage on the eye area. So it really helps with like deep puffing. I think that's primarily because of the applicator. <laughs> yeah. The formula itself, um, there is fragrance and there's some things that I was kind of like, yeah, I don't know about that. Um, and there's mica in here too, which is fine, right? But um, it's not something that I'm like super in love with. It's a really good product, but it's not like, Mm, you remember I talk about user experience? Yeah. Just now? That's what I'm saying. Like, there's no wow. The applicator felt cooling. It feels nice, but it's just nothing that, like, the formula is nothing that makes me go, wow, I need yeah. this. You know what I mean? Um, but it does have caffeine in there, so for 58 that's a bit pricey for the amount you're getting. That's true. Um, but it does a good job. Mm -hmm. The next one's going to be this Derma Doctor DD eye cream. It is SPF 30, and it's physical sunscreen. This... You've seen, right? Yeah. It's like a little salmon kind of tint. Mm. This would work good for anybody who's on like the lighter skin spectrum. If your skin's like fair to like uh, like light medium, it would work out. Otherwise, I feel like because essentially it's a color corrector. Yeah. Plus an eye cream with Albiza, so it's gonna help to get rid of like the signs of fatigue, caffeine. Um, you don't see too many fragrance-free um, uh, physical sunscreen eye creams. So mm -hmm. this is a really good job. Like during summer, this is all I'm going to be using because it has sunscreen. Mm -hmm. That's the worst time to be out. Um, but it's like 28 bucks. It does a really good job. Um, you do have to pat it and kind of blend it out. But I think it for the price point, it's really good. And then this one right here, which is a mini, it's the Dermalogica Vitamin C Bio... Biolumin C Eye <laughs> Serum. <laughs> and this, I actually don't even want to use it right now because... It's gonna run out soon, and I really, really like this product. It is like a little gel, and it sinks in immediately. It kind of gives you like a dewy shine. Mm. I thought there was mica in this, and I'm pretty sure there's not, which is very interesting. Um, vitamin C eye serum brightens and firms the eye area. It is. It smells. Can you smell it? It has like an orange scent. It's not mm. Yeah, it has a nice orange scent. Not necessary, but... It does the job. Dermalogica uses a ton of essential oil, so I'm not the biggest fan of all their stuff, but that eye serum is a newer release, and I really, I actually really, really like it. I've been using it every single day, but you cannot put makeup on top of it. I feel that the concealer and the pigment and mm. all that kind of stuff, it just begins to get like jumbled, mm. um, but otherwise a really good product. And it's kind of annoying because it's like, if you want your eye serum to work and then you wear makeup every so often, you're going to have to switch eye serums. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but a good product and I like it. I think next we have our moisturizers. Actually, let's do our mask treatments. I don't have a mask treatment, but I see that you have one. So let's talk about that one really quick. Okay. This is my Youth Mud. It's the Glow Stimulating Treatment from Glam Glow. This is, man... <laughs> This is tried and true. Definitely one of my favorite masks that I've ever used. Um, the reason why I enjoy this mask so much is because it's um, an exfoliating mask, um, but it's also detoxifying. So it has charcoal in here. It also has um, tea extract, and that's going to detoxify the skin, help with um, pore shrinkage, and also really help retexturize the skin. And when I have dry patches, this knocks it out immediately. Mm -hmm. um, it does well on my skin. 
I definitely enjoy the experience of it. And um, I only use it about once a week. I don't, um, it works really well, so you, should, you shouldn't have to over mask with it. It's like a gray mask, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I love this. Okay, one. yeah. So is it like a, what kind of texture is it? I'm gonna put some of this on your hand. Okay. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> Let me see your hand again. It has a stronger scent. It's, it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can actually mm -hmm. smell the... I feel like I've used this before and I liked it a lot. You probably have. It has like the little tea buds. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Show them in the camera too so they can see. Yeah, let me show you. It has that. the tea leaves in it. So it has a tea oxidant blend. So different. this is a winner. Yeah, <laughs> it's just winning all around. Lamp glows mass. There winning. are some that I'm like, yeah. Okay, I can pass, but there's some that I've used that I'm like, whoa, that's really, yeah. really good stuff. And that's true too, because yeah. this is actually the first mask that they ever created. And But um, I will add this really quick. Mm -hmm. I say that not because the other masks that I've tried don't work. It's because it wasn't for my skin type. Right. Like I don't need the hydrating mask. Right. And I don't really yeah. need the brightening mask because I feel like my skin's pretty bright already. Mm -hmm. But as far as like the yes, I have used this because yeah. the and way show it dries the camera, down, and it, uh -huh. the dry down, it already dries it turns down from perfectly. gray to white. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's and that's it's nice. really cool. I like it. You can actually see it working on your it skin. It's an interesting scent though, and that's yeah. why I enjoy it so much. Um, you can smell the tea. And you can smell there's um it's nice yeah. i like it it feels cooling it i can feels already feel cool. it there's definitely menthol it's or something menthol yeah. it, there, there's it gives a very tingling experience too and it has People licorice get a little bit weird it. with menthol licorice root. <laughs> because they're like <laughs> they get like antsy thinking menthol is going to irritate the skin yeah um it creates a good cooling effect but whether it irritates the skin or not i feel like in some degree it possibly could for like very sensitive skin times but overall like the experience with the product that has menthol or peppermint which people look down upon because you know it's just could be irritating i think it's very mm -hmm. it's it's energizing i like, love I it. Like it it is yeah. it's energizing i like it i know it like teach awakens the skin own, right there exactly. you go because i can feel this <laughs> and i want it on my face right now. literally because i'm like i get so you have another one <laughs> i'm like let me get one of those we'll this do a mini good. facial right now not me because i'm not right taking now. off a makeup but next video. i can <laughs> I'll pick no, up yours if you want to use it. This is good. It's amazing. No, this is good. I, I've definitely used this before because I remember those little pieces and I was like, what is this grass? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like that. Yeah. I'm going to side with that. I didn't have a mask that I brought, but the Corez Probiotic Greek Yogurt Mask. I used that this morning. That has like a very cooling effect too. It's supposed to have probiotics to help balance the skin, all that kind of stuff. It just is a very, very like thick but nice rich thick mask that hydrates your skin you would love it yeah and um it has a cooling effect and it just leaves your skin happy and like i really like that one mm -hmm. and then um the glam glow 60 second mask what is that one called insta mud oh yeah that's really nice that i one's like it in the too. t zone it doesn't like it's not gonna be like how can i explain like i'm an esthetician guys so as far as like extracting and getting rid of all the gunk and the sebaceous filaments um, that's not what it's gonna really do. It's just like clarifying everything. It's a good way to do it without actually going in with like a tool, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, So I really like it for like 60 seconds. It tickles and then I'm like, okay. And I wash <laughs> it off and it does the job. Um, what other one am I using right now? Oh, the Pore Proof Pudding Clay Mask from Peach and Lily. I didn't bring that, I should've brought it. That's a really good creamy Ace Rolla, um, not Ace Rolla, Wild Cherry Infuse, like, I think there's some vitamin C in it, cowling clay. It's very creamy and smooth. You really like that one. I do like that one. Mm -hmm. And that one's like 38. I didn't yeah. bring it, but it's like a nice pink. It's a good pore mask that doesn't dry you. Now, the one thing I'm wondering about this is I feel like my skin's going to be kind of dry after, right? A little bit. It will be a little bit dry. Because it's clarifying. Yeah, yeah, it's very clarifying. But with the peach and lily one, it doesn't leave you super dry. It's easy to remove. Mm -hmm. um, it's more clean. Show them the dry down now that it's completely finished. That's yeah, what's, yeah. Matte, basically. Yeah. Um, Winning. Um, yeah, I like this. Yeah. I would just, like, after 10 minutes, though, I would take it off. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, you don't want to go any longer no, than that no, anyways. No, that's, uh, you're doing too much. Yeah, <laughs> once it's dry, it's ready to take off anyways. Um. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like it. I think that's... We, I mean, we know we like it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that's it. And then moisturizers, huh? Yeah. Moisturizers and sunscreen. Okay, ready? Yes. Three, two, okay, it's too much to carry. Three, <laughs> two, one. All right, so we have two things there. Three, two? Yeah. Yeah. And then we have five over here. 
I'm gonna take forever with this, so okay. I'll let you go first. Oh, yeah. I already know I'm gonna be like, oh, jeez. <laughs> so for I'm gonna quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's a good lineup, but mm -hmm. you know, I wear makeup every single day pretty mm -hmm. much, almost, so. He's definitely gonna have a more extensive skincare routine than me because his complexion is always pretty natural. But for me, I'm just like, I know I'm gonna do a full face anyways. Mm -hmm. So like all the skincare steps that I'm doing, I do at nighttime too, but then I might add on like a sheet mask or two to give more really hydration. Yeah, yeah. Amp up, but amp in the up. daytime, mm -hmm. like I'm gonna put on makeup, so. <laughs> No, no, no. That's that makes sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But this is the moisture trip from Glam Glow. Feels amazing. I love this mm -hmm. moisturizer. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put some on Tao's other hand so you guys can see the. Oh yeah, let's show the color you guys of this right one. There. Yeah. Now this has aloe vera. That feels nice right away. Feels nice right away. Mm -hmm. Um, it also has hyaluronic acid, mushroom extract, and sativa seed oil. So you got adaptogens in there. We got that calming ingredient. We got everything in got there. Got Anti redness, anti-inflammatory. Anti-inflammatory. Anti mm -hmm. And that's one of my favorite that's things nice. about it. Yeah. Because after- I used it once. <laughs> I took it from your bathroom. <laughs> I on Mel's expense. No, but I, you didn't. <laughs> but I did it. I did take it. And I remember that day I was like, this mm -hmm. is nice. It is. I feel like it'd be better for dry, normal, yes, and um, it's combination, more but more on dry. Yeah. Not for oily. So Not my for oily. Felt a little, little greasy. A little bit greasy. Yeah. But it does the job. Yeah. But mind you, I, and I want to say this now, like disclosure, full disclosure, I use so many. You guys have seen, like, I use <laughs> too much product. So, one could say like you're the reason why everything's too dewy you know what i mean yeah because yeah. <laughs> my oils already produce a lot of a decent amount of oil i've controlled mm -hmm. it now the like the sebum regulations all balanced and everything but yeah. um that's a good one yeah i'm re i'm actually really Very passionate homey. about yeah, this moisturizer I, like I use it every single day and i notice that if i do have a little surface redness on the cheeks it goes away immediately okay. and, and my skin's hydrated too and then for my spf i use the first aid beauty um ultra repair tinted moisturizer simple easy simple delicious. easy yeah <laughs> because i really like um First of all, you should be wearing SPF every day. Every day. Regardless. Even if it's raining. But literally. Even during Corona. But <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> but I enjoy um, a color option because um, I'm going to put on makeup. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to use a colorless sunscreen, um, I do have one, but I'm not showing you guys right now. Um, it is a chemical sunscreen, but yeah. it just does the job. It it's just so does smooth. the job. It's yeah. not greasy. Um, and this I covers up my redness too because it has the color in it. But there you go. That's all I need. I don't like it, <laughs> but I like a lot of stuff from First Aid. I just don't care for the tinted moisturizer for myself. I, maybe it was just the color was off or something. Yeah. Even though my skin's a little bit kind of weird the time. That's true. Um, but for people that I would always like show it to, they would love it. That's true. They would buy it immediately yeah. and they'd be like, oh my gosh, this is great. Like people love it. So if people love it, then I'm gonna support it, you right. know what I mean? But it just didn't feel like it was the mm -hmm. best for me. I don't know. Yeah. Like, well, this, but for me, this for me my skin type. Your skin routine? Well, I don't think it's no. trashing, literally. You we guys, just have different we skin We have types. the completely different skin type. Opposite. Nothing even, Oily, nothing remotely different. Uh, like, They're not the same. It's not the same, uh-uh. I'm in love with this. I'll never stop using it. So, I mean, it's, it's not that. Our skin is literally different. But um, yeah, I just love this. It gives me the SPF that I need. And it does the job. Um, it does the job. It gives me, a, it covers the surface redness. And I'm gonna go in with makeup on top of this anyways. But if I do walk outside, I do like sheer coverage, you mm -hmm. know, and this is perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I have five things to show you. <laughs> and the battery's on the last little thing. This is the Ren Clear Calm Gel. Have you felt this, the gel moisturizer? This is interesting because it's a gel cream. Actually, I have felt this it's and I forgot about it. It's super heavy, but it's not super lightweight. Yeah. Even for my oily skin, I feel like that's pushing it, but it's for blemish prone skin. There's like a lingonberry extract that's supposed to help brighten the skin, omega rich. Yeah. This is a good product. And I like Ren Skincare. Mm -hmm. I generally like their stuff. Um, they use like an essential oil blend and um, and I remember trying that one, but it just wasn't enough hydration for me. There you go. Mm -hmm. It's better for somebody with combo skin. Yeah. Oily like mine, um, when you layer so much like I do, it can be a bit much, but overall a really good cream. 
Um, this is the Laneige right here, the winner, 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 winner <laughs> of everything. Laneige Sika sleeping mask. I bought this when it was new. I'm gonna put some on you right here. And then I'm gonna show them that too. And just kind of like see the formula. It's very lightweight, right? It looks thick, but it's so, so lightweight. It didn't have weight when I blended it. Not right? nothing. Mm -mm. I love, love this. They took a, like, how can I explain, like a forest yeast and then mm. they basically used it and they like did research on it to make it stronger. It's so like a stronger version of Centella. I see immediate results with this. Mm. If I over exfoliate, whatever, my skin's perfectly hydrated. I love the formula. I'm very jealous of whoever created this formula and I'm going to <sighs> keep using this. <laughs> um, next is the Kiehl's Pure Vitality um, Cream. Now, this is probably my last time showing Kiehl's just because I wanted to try out the formula and I was able to get a discount on this. It has red ginseng and manuka honey. You have to push out the product from the top and then it's like a very, like you can see it right there. It's like a little, feel this, you already felt this, but, and it has a very distinct kind of ginseng kind of honey scent. There's probably fragrance in here. Oh yeah. This is yeah. great if you have dry, normal, even combo skin. It calms down the skin, it has an anti-aging element to it. I just don't care for Kiehl's because it's not cruelty free. They sell it all over the place. Mm. And, you know, I just, I don't, I don't yeah. care for that aspect of it, but it's a good cream. I can't deny that. Um, probably one of my favorites that they have in their entire lineup and I've tried a lot of stuff in the past, but I wanted to try it just for the formula. I won't be repurchasing, but it's a really good one. Peach and Lily Overnight Star Sleeping Mask. This comes in a glass container and it's like a blue. You you felt this before. Yes, I enjoyed like that. A very emollient, yeah. thicker cream. Um, there's the acai berry and there's black ginseng extract. There's niacinamide, all these things. For me, it is very deeply hydrating. Well, moisturizing, I feel like. Very like oily, emollient. Yeah. You would love this. Yeah, I, no, I on tried this. It's too yeah. much for me. I go to sleep and I feel like, wow, there's like a slight, like not a film, because they don't use silicones, but like it's a lot of hydration. Yeah. Green screen right here, pharmacy, SPF 30, does the job really well and it's very lightweight. They have a really good physical formula when it comes to what this is, like a zinc oxide, titanium dioxide. It just, it does the job. It's, have you pulled this? Yes, very, I like it. It's very, very lightweight. I've tried this, I, I've tried this on myself. It leaves a bit of a white cast, yeah. that's undeniable, but I really, really like this. It has the blue light protection. It's just simple. They don't call it green screen anymore, right? They call it green defense. Yes, like that. now it's called green defense. So this is an yeah. older model version, but yeah, pharmacy has some good stuff. I didn't bring the eye cream from pharmacy. That's what I did not bring. Or it fell in the car. It probably fell. I'm gonna go find that. Because <laughs> I'm not trying to lose that, but I wonder if it's in the bag. It probably fell in the car. probably fell in the car. <laughs> I'm not losing that. It's the vitamin C bright enough, bright, bright up cherry. Yes, cherry. Amazing, like a gel eye cream hybrid. It, oh my. You guys, winner, he loves that eye cream. Winner, I tried it and winner, I like guys. it too. It's so mm -hmm. nice. You dip in with your finger three mm -hmm. times. Clean fingers because you know, Corona. Every oh. Time. Jeez. And, uh, three times like that. And just go like that. It's It does. It's, it's amazing. A, it's great. I love gel hybrid creams. Like eye creams. Like the Origins uh, Eye Doctor. With minus all the essential oils and everything. <laughs> and then with this one, it just feels amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. Go try that out because I really <laughs> like that one. Pharmacy has some really good products, really, really good products. And um, I can't believe I didn't bring it. It's oh, probably no. in the car. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for watching <laughs> the yeah. transition. And Hope you guys, you know, continue to follow us and support us. We'd love to have you guys around as like a, a family in that sense. Yes. You know what I mean? Because I feel like that's what YouTube has come down to. It's like a family oriented community. Of yeah, people that big time. Makeup, skincare. It's so much fun. Yes. And this is weird for us because we don't film like this all the time, but I think it's just becoming so natural. I feel like it is for us, you know? I agree.